Oaxaca City, Wikipedia article audio. The city and municipality of Oaxaca de Juarez, or simply Oaxaca, is the capital and largest city of the Mexican state of the same name. It is located in the Centro District in the Central Valleys region of the state, on the foothills of the Sierra Madre at the base of the Cerro del Ford and extending to the banks of the Atoyac River. This city relies heavily on tourism, which is based on its large number of colonial era structures as well as the native Zapotec and Mixtec cultures and archaeological sites. It along with the archaeological site of Monte Alban, were named a World Heritage Site in 1987. It is also the home of the month-long cultural festival called the Gelaguetza, which features Oaxacan dance from the seven regions, music, and a beauty pageant for indigenous women. History Geography Climate Economy and Tourism Notable Sites Plaza de la Constitución or Zocalo Andador Macedonio Alcala Churches and Religious Buildings Museums and the Arts Monte Alban Markets Parks and Gardens Festivals and Traditions Galaguetza Noche de Rabanos Donaji Cinema Food and Drink Notable Oaxacans Education Transportation Surrounding Towns Municipality of Oaxaca Twin Towns, Sister Cities Notes It is nicknamed La Verde Antiquera due to its prior name and the variety of structures built from a native green stone. The name Oaxaca is derived from the Nahuatl name for the place, Huaxiacoc, which was Hispanicized to Guajica, later spelled Oaxaca. De Juarez was added in honor of Benito Juarez, who was a native of this state. The coat of arms for the municipality bears the image of the decapitated Donaji, who was an indigenous princess in the years immediately after the conquest. There had been Zapotec and Mixtec settlements in Valley of Oaxaca for thousands of years, especially in connection with the important ancient centers of Monte Alban and Mitla, which are close to modern Oaxaca City. The Aztecs entered the valley in 1440 and named it Huaxiacoc, a Nahuatl phrase meaning among the Huaj trees. A strategic military position was created here, at what is now called the Cerro del Fortin to keep an eye on the Zapotec capital of Zachila and secure the trade route between the Valley of Mexico, Tehuantepec, and what is now Central America. When the Spanish arrived in 1521, the Zapotecs and the Mixtecs were involved in one of their many wars. Spanish conquest would end this fighting. The first Spanish expedition here arrived late in 1521, headed by Captain Francisco de Orozco, and accompanied by 400 Aztecs. Hernan Cortés sent Francisco de Orozco to Oaxaca because Moctezuma II said that the Aztecs' gold came from there. The Spanish expedition under Orozco set about building a Spanish city where the Aztec military post was at the base of the Cerro de Fortin. The first mass was said here by Chaplain Juan Diaz on the bank of the Atoyac River under a large watch tree where the Church of San Juan de Dios would be constructed later. This same chaplain added saints' names to the surrounding villages in addition to keeping their Nahuatl names, Santa Maria Oaxaca, San Martin Mexicapan, San Juan Chapultepec, Santo Tomas Zachimilco, San Matias Jalatlaco, Santiago Tipeaca, etc. 
This group of Spaniards chose their first mayor, Gutierrez de Batajuk, their first town council and began construction of the Cathedral of Oaxaca in 1522. Their name for the settlement was Guajica, a Hispanization of the Nahuatl name. The establishment of the relatively independent village did not suit Hernan Cortés, who wanted power over the entire region for himself. Cortés sent Pedro de Alvarado, who proceeded to drive out most of the village's population. The original Spanish settlers appealed to the Spanish crown to recognize the village they founded, which it did in 1526 with land divided among the Spaniards of Orozco's expedition. However, this did not stop Cortés from driving out the population of the village once again and replacing the town council only three months after royal recognition. Once again, the original founders appealed to Spanish royal authority, this time to the viceroy in Mexico City, Nuno de Guzmán. This viceroy also sided with the original founders, and the town was re-founded in 1529 as Antiquera, in honor of Nuno de Guzmán's hometown. Francisco de Herrera convened the new, crown-approved town council, and the first layout of the settlement was mapped out by Juan Pélez de Berrio. In the meantime, Cortés was able to obtain from the crown the title of the Marquis of the Valley of Oaxaca, which contains the disputed village. This permitted him to tax the area heavily, and to have control of the territory that surrounded the village. The village was then in a position of having to survive surrounded by villages which answered to Cortés. These villages not only did not take orders from Antiquera, they were hostile to it, mostly likely encouraged by Cortés. To counter this, the village petitioned the crown to be elevated to the status of a city, which would give it certain rights, privileges and exceptions. It would also ensure that the settlement would remain under the direct control of the king, rather than of Cortés. This petition was granted in 1532 by Charles V of Spain. After the independence of Mexico in 1821, the city became the seat of a municipality, and both the name of the city and the municipality became Oaxaca, changed from Antiquera. In 1872, de Juarez was added to the city and municipality names to honor Benito Juarez, who began his legal and political career here. The 2006 Oaxaca protests began as a teacher's protest, occupying the main square, or Zocalo, of Oaxaca City in May 2006. Increases in wages and employment benefits were announced a short time later but an internal conflict in the local teachers' union led to accusations that the bargaining had not really been in the teachers' best interest. Work stoppage and occupation of the square continued from May 22 to June 1. At this point, radical groups joined in with the protest and the disorder grew, closing banks, access roads, the airport, access to stores and harassing the governor of the state in public appearances. Many of these groups merged with the teachers' union to form the Popular Assembly of the People of Oaxaca. The disruption turned into a siege that lasted five months. Violence included the deaths of a number of people including indie media journalist Bradley Roland Will on October 27, 2006. Roberto López Hernández and Jorge Alberto Beltrán on October 29, 2006 when over 10,000 federal police and army intervened. The situation calmed in the second week of November when the federal preventative police took over the city and disbanded the protests. Oaxaca has a tropical savanna climate, closely bordering on a humid subtropical climate due to its high altitude.
During the dry season, temperatures during the day remain warm with an average high of 27.1 degrees Celsius in the coolest month, December, and an average high of 33.3 degrees Celsius in April, just before the beginning of the wet season. Although daytime temperatures are warm, nighttime temperatures are cool with an average low of 9 degrees Celsius in January. Due to its altitude of 1,555 meters, the climate of Oaxaca is cooler than lowland areas at the same latitude. Precipitation is concentrated in the summer months with June being the wettest with an average precipitation of 171 millimeters. The events of 2006 had a severe impact on the city's main generator of revenue, tourism. The city is the primary attraction of the state, which also relies economically on tourism. Over the last 25 years, tourism has grown to become the dominant factor of Oaxaca's economy. 77% of the municipality of Oaxaca has employment that is related in some way to tourism. The attractions are the verdant landscapes of the Oaxaca Valley, and the architectural and cultural charms of the city itself. The next largest economic sectors are mining and manufacturing, which employ 20% of the workforce. The city center was included in a World Heritage Site designated by UNESCO, in recognition of its treasure of historic buildings and monuments. Tourist activity peaks in three seasons, Holy Week, Summer, and New Year. Many of the tourists who come during Holy Week and for New Year come from other parts of Mexico and include native Oaxacans returning to visit from their places of work. Most international visitors come during the summer. The Plaza de la Constitución, or Zocalo, was planned out in 1529 by Juan Pérez de Barrio. During the entire colonial period this plaza was never paved, nor had sidewalks, only a marble fountain that was placed here in 1739. This was removed in 1857 to put in the kiosk and trees were planted. In 1881, the vegetation here was rearranged and in 1885, a statue of Benito Juarez was added. It was remodeled again in 1901 and a new Art Nouveau kiosk installed. Fountains of green stone with capricious figures were installed in 1967. The kiosk in the center hosts the state musical band, La Marimba, and other groups. The plaza is surrounded by various portals. On the south side of the plaza are the Portales de Ex Palacio de Gobierno, which was vacated by the government in 2005 and then reopened as a museum called Museo del Palacio Espacio de Diversidad. Other portals include the Portal de Mercadores on the eastern side, Portal de Clavrias on the north side and the Portal del Señor on the west side. The state government palace is located on the main square of Oaxaca City. This site used to be the Portal de la Aljandiga and in front of the palace is the Benito Juarez Market. The original palace was inaugurated in 1728, on the wedding day of the Prince and Princess of Spain and Portugal. The architectural style was Gothic. The building currently on this site was begun in 1832, inaugurated in 1870 but was not completed until 1887. The inside contains murals reflecting Oaxaca's history from the pre-Hispanic era, the colonial era and post-independence. Most of these were painted by Arturo Garcia Bustos in the 1980s. The Federal Palace is located across from the cathedral and used to be the site of the old Archbishop's Palace until 1902. 
Its architecture is neo mistec reflecting the nationalism of the early 20th century and the reverence in which the Mistec Zapotec culture has been held in more recent times. The architectural elements copy a number of those from Mitla and Monte Alban. Northwest of the Zocalo is the Alameda de Leon, a garden area that is essentially an annex of the main square. In 1576, Viceroy Martin Enriquez de Almanza set aside two city blocks on which to build the city government offices, but they were never built here. One of the blocks was sold and the other became a market. Antonio de Leon, governor of the state of Oaxaca, lived in front of this market and decided to turn it into a park in the 1840s making it a small replica of the Alameda Central in Mexico City. In 1885, a statue of Leon was added. The Macedonio Alcala Tourist Corridor is a street paved with green cantera that was closed to traffic in 1985 and is now only open to pedestrian traffic. Along the street are notable places such as the original building to house the Universidad Autónoma Benito Juárez. The Museo de Arte Contemporáneo or Maco is located here as is the Plazuela La Bastida and the Parroquia de la Preciosa Sangre de Cristo. The Catedral de Oaxaca, also referred to as Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption, is the third to be built as the first two were destroyed by large earthquakes in the 16th and 18th centuries. Construction of this third church began in 1702 and it was consecrated in 1733. Its facade is made of the green cantera stone commonly found in Oaxaca's buildings, and the interior is in neoclassical style. The altar features a statue of Our Lady of the Assumption which was made in Italy during the Porfirio era, who is represented by a bronze sculpture brought from Europe and made by Tadoani. The church and former monastery of Santo Domingo de Guzman is located four blocks north of the Cathedral of Oaxaca. It was constructed between 1555 and 1666. It divides into two parts, the church and the former living-slash-working areas of the monks. The front of the church is Renaissance style, in the central relief, Saint Dominic and Hippolytus of Rome are holding up the church. After La Reforma around 1860, the church was converted into a stable, which caused serious deterioration of the building. It was returned to devotional use at the end of the 19th century. The living and working areas were converted into barracks and officers' quarters. In 1994, work began to convert this area as the Centro Cultural Santo Domingo. The Basilica de Nuestra Señora de la Soledad is located four blocks west of the cathedral on Avenida Independencia. It is built between 1682 and 1697 by Father Fernando Mendez on a site where supposedly an image of the Virgin Mary appeared inside a box. It is of Baroque style finished in 1690. Its front is made of a reddish stone sculpted to look like a folding screen. In the back of the church is the Museo de la Basilica de Nuestra Señora de la Soledad that exhibits the Virgin's dresses, offering, and small painting done in her honor. The statue of the Virgin of Solitude, crowned with a two-kilogram solid gold crown studded with diamonds was the subject of a theft recently. Many years later, the cloister was converted into a correctional facility, a teacher's college and district attorney's office. Now it serves as the municipal palace. The building conserves a number of valuable items such as paintings, sculptures and religious vestments and a pipe organ dated 1686.
The church and ex-monastery of Del Carmen Alto belonged to the Carmelites who established themselves here in 1696. The complex began as a hermitage built over the Tiacali of Huaxiacoc, although in the late 17th century, much of this space was occupied by a jail and barracks. The project was financed by Manuel Fernandez Fialo. Church and former monastery of St. John of God, Oaxaca's oldest church still standing, completed in 1703. This is where the first Mass in Oaxaca was held in 1521. Church of San Felipe Neri The Church of San Felipe Neri is considered a classic example of Baroque with SD pite columns from the end of the 18th century and has a large gilded main altarpiece. While the church overall is Baroque, the portal contains other decorative elements as well. Benito Juarez married Margarita Maza here in 1841. Ex-Monastery of San Catalina was built in the second half of the 16th century by Dominican monk Hernando de Carvarcos who also was responsible for the Santo Domingo de Guzman Monastery. In 1862, the monastery became a jail and at the end of the 19th century, the southern part became the municipal palace. Since 1976, it has been a hotel, called Hotel Camino Real. Church of the Company of Jesus located to the southwest of the Zocalo, was built by the Jesuits in 1579 and consecrated to Francis Xavier and the Immaculate Conception. The towers were destroyed by a series of earthquakes and never rebuilt. Inside the chapel is a statue of the Virgin of Guadalupe with a prayer written in Spanish, English. Nahuatl as well as 12 other languages native to the state of Oaxaca, including four dialects of Zapotec. The Centro Cultural de Santo Domingo occupies the former monastery buildings attached to Santo Domingo Church, and were restored in 1996 and considered to be one of the best restoration works in Latin America. Some important artifacts from Monte Alban are displayed here. In the center of the Centro Cultural, there is a courtyard with a fountain and a very large staircase. The passages along the courtyard have vaulted ceilings, cupolas, and intricate corridors. Much of the Centro Cultural is occupied by the Museo de los Culturas de Oaxaca, whose entrance is the one pilgrims used to use to enter the church area of the complex. This museum was placed in the Centro Cultural in 1964, after originally being in the Instituto de Ciencias y Arts, among other places. The museum specializes in Zapotec and Mixtec cultures, covering ten halls and one auditorium. In Sala 3 is displayed the Tesoro Mixtelo which is a collection of offerings that were discovered by archaeologist Alfonso Casso in Tomb 7 of Monte Alban. These offerings include hundreds of pieces of jewelry made of gold and silver. They make up the richest collection of gold and silver smithing of ancient Mexico. Another important exhibit is the objects from Tomb 5 of Lambatico which dates back to 700 CE and from Monte Alban. The museum has rooms dedicated to everyday items from the colonial period as well. The center also contains the Biblioteca Fray Francisco de Burgoa which holds over 25,000 degrees that were conferred from the 15th to the 20th century from the Universidad Autónoma Benito Juárez in Oaxaca. The Museum of Contemporary Art is housed in the so-called Casa de Cortes. It is one of the oldest buildings in the city and one of the most representative of non-religious buildings. However, since it dates from after the death of Hernán Cortés, it could never actually have served as his house. Although it has been modified somewhat over the years, 
it still conserves its basic layout with rooms surrounding three courtyards. The architectural style is basically Andalusian modified by Oaxaca traditions. The facade has two levels, and the doors and windows have lintels, and are protected by wrought iron railings. To the far left of the facade, there are two arched entrances that permitted entrance of carriages to the third courtyard. The main portal is Spanish Baroque and has three levels. In the first, there are two tritostilla columns that support the balcony which has wrought iron railings. On the second level two Solomonic columns flanking a window. The jams of the window are decorated with circles and the lintel with inverted curves. At the top of the window is seal of the Jesuits. The third level contains a central niche with a sculpture of an archangel as well as the coats of arms of the Lasso de la Vega and the Pinello families. This group is flanked by Solomonic columns. The house was acquired by the state of Oaxaca and initially housed the Museo Histórico Urbano de Oaxaca in 1986. The museum was created with help from the state government, the José F. Gómez Foundation, painter Francisco Toledo and the Instituto Nacional de Bellas Arts. Its permanent collection contains works by Rufino Tamayo, Toledo, Nieto, Aquinos, and others. The Museo de los Pintores Ox Aquinos is located north of the Alameda de Leon on Avenida Independencia in a former 18th century mansion. It is dedicated to local artists such as Rodolfo Morales whose work is on permanent display. The museum has also featured exhibitions by Felipe Morales, Rodolfo Nieto, Alejandro Santiago, and Francisco Toledo. The Casa de Culturas Oaxacanas used to the church and ex-monastery Los Siete Principes dating from the 18th century. The only part still used for religious purposes is the small chapel. The complex was restored in the 1960s and in 1970, the Casa opened. It houses the Instituto Oxaqueno de la Culturas, which is a state government entity to promote culture and the arts. The Rufino Tamayo Museum or Museo Rufino Tamayo has an important collection of pre-Hispanic art that the painter himself collected. He donated the collection, as well as the house that is now the museum to his home state in 1974. This house, which was known as the Casa de Villanaza, was built in the 18th century. It first housed the State Museum archives, before becoming what it is today. The museum exhibits over 1,150 pieces from different Mesoamerican periods, including Mayan steels, ceramic dogs from Colima and stone faces from the Gulf of Mexico coast. The purpose of the museum is to show the aesthetic as well as the cultural value of these works. The religious museum of the ex-monastery of La Soledad is located next to the Basilica of La Soledad. It contains objects such as paintings, sculptures and vestments. It is located in the southwest portion of the old monastery. The Instituto de Artes Graficos de Oaxaca contains a large collection of graphic designs both present and past. The Casa de Juarez, is a museum devoted to the life of Benito Juarez. It belonged to someone named Antonio Salanueva, but Juarez lived here from 1818 to 1828 after arriving to Oaxaca City from his hometown of Guilatao. It contains documents related to his presidency as well as furnishings designed to recreate the environment of that period. Its architecture is typical of homes built in this city in the 18th century and located on Garcia Vigil 609. It also contains ordinary artifacts from that time period, some of which belonged to Juarez.
Hemeroteca Pública de Oaxaca Nestor Sanchez is located behind the ex-convent of Santo Domingo along with the Jardin Ithibotanico at the corner of Reforma and Constitution. These two occupy more than two hectares which used to be the gardens of the convent of Santo Domingo. Tetro Macedonio Alcala, which as well as being a working theatre houses a collection of romantic art. The Macedonio Alcala Theatre is a work typical for Porfirio Diaz period at the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th. It was first named the Luis Meyer Wyatt Theatre, then Jesus Carranza. The current name dates back to 1932 to honor the composer of the state anthem Dios Nunca Muer. The Macedonio Akala Theatre is named after the author of the state anthem and was built between 1903 and 1909. The theatre has three parts, the vestibule, the main hall and the stage. The main entrance is on the corner. On the Armenta and Lopez street sides, the lower level is occupied by shops, as well as the Miguel Cabrera Salon which hosts art exhibits. The vestibule is Louis XV style with a white marble staircase and the main hall is in imperial style, in which the anthropomorphic columns stand out. Other cultural places of interest include the Alvarez Bravo Photography Center, the Oaxaca Stamp Museum, the Railway Museum of Southern Mexico and the Planetarium located on the Cerro del Fortin. Monte Alban is a pre-Hispanic city that was an ancient capital of the Zapotecs. It reached its peak between 500 BCE and 800 CE with about 35,000 inhabitants. Monte Alban is known for its architecture, its carved stones and the ceramic urns. In 1987, it was declared a World Heritage Site, along with the city of Oaxaca itself. The Mercado Benito Juarez is located one block south of the Zocalo on Flores Magan and Las Casas but it takes up the entire block to 20 de Noviembre and Aldama streets. It offers flowers, fruit, ices, fruit drinks, handcrafts, leather goods, hats and knives, among other things. The Mercado 20 de Noviembre is the official name but this market is commonly known as the Mercado de la Comida because of the food stands that dominate the place. It is recommended by Mexico Desconocido magazine for Oaxacan regional dishes such as moles, tazajo, flejudas, panda yema, chapulins, Oaxaca cheese, queso fresco, as well as very large cups of hot chocolate made locally that is often spiced with cinnamon and almonds. The city contains a number of parks, gardens, and plazas, many of which were former monastery lands, for example, the Jardin Etnobotanico de Oaxaca, surrounding the former monastery of Santo Domingo. Even better known is the Plaza de la Danza y Jardin Socrates complex on Morelos Street at the foot of the Cerro del Fortin. It is part of the area bounded by the Basilica de la Soledad and the Church of San Jose. The Plaza de la Danza was constructed in 1959 by Eduardo Vasconcelos to hold the annual Bonisto y Gulal dance, held one day before the festival of the Gelaguetza. The plaza also hosts other cultural events including art shows, concerts and political rallies The Socrates Garden is the old atrium of the Basilica de la Soledad converted into a public park in 1881, conserved the bronze chalice which was also made in 1881. In 1981, the garden was remodeled adding a new layer of stone to the floor. The Cerro de Fortin next to it bears in stone letters Benito Juarez's slogan, El Respeto al Derecho Ageno y es la Paz. The Antonia La Bastida Garden is named Alter a woman who fought with Porfirio Diaz during the French intervention. 
This park has become a place for artists and artisans to display their wares. The Gelaguetza, also known as the Fiestas de los Lunes del Cerro is the major cultural event in the city with origins in pre-Hispanic times. The hill is the Cerro del Fortin, which was the scene of the annual rites to the goddess Sentietal, or goddess of the corn. The hill had a Tiacali, or sacred plaza, built by the Aztecs. The ritual would end with the sacrifice of a young maiden chosen to represent the goddess. This rite was prohibited by the Spanish after the conquest, who also destroyed the Tiacali. In its place, they constructed the Church of Our Lady of Mount Carmen, now known as Carmen Alto. The recently baptized Mixtecs and Zapotecs then replaced ceremonies to Sentietal with those to this manifestation of the Virgin Mary, at the same place, the Cerro del Fortin. This revised festival grew over time to be the largest and most anticipated for the town. In 1932, the city of Oaxaca realized its 400th anniversary and decided to combine these festivities with those of the Cerro del Fortin, adding traditional dances, music, regional cuisine, and Margarita Santella as the first Miss Oaxaca, in addition to the religious rites. The word Gelaguetza is from Zapotec and means offering, sympathy, caring and cooperation. This first Gelaguetza was such a hit that organizers decided to repeat it every year at the Cerro del Fortin, on all the Mondays of July starting in 1953, becoming an amalgam of Oaxacan festivals from many parts of the state. Originally, the festival took place at the foot of the Cerro del Fortin, where the curve of the land makes for a natural theater. Since 1974, Many of the events, which have grown in number, have been moved to a number of different venues, included the then-inaugurated Gelaguetza Auditorium. This is a Greek-style venue with seats 11,400 people. One venue is the Church of Santo Domingo de Guzman, where regional band come to play, dressed in colorful costumes as part of the opening ceremonies. They march from here to the Oaxaca Cathedral, where they are joined by folk dance groups such as the China Oaxacanas, the Chilnas de Pinotipa Nacional and the Jarabes Serranos. Another major event, which takes place at the Jardin Socrates, is a beauty pageant for indigenous women from different regions of Oaxaca State. The winner represents the goddess Sentietal and presides over the festivities along with public officials. The Bamostuigulal takes place at the Plaza de la Danza and represents the history of Oaxaca and the Gelaguetza itself. The plaza is divided into four quadrants, each representing a different period in Oaxaca's history. One other event, Hosted in the auditorium is a reenactment of the legend of Donaji, which takes place at the time of the conquest. On the streets of Oaxaca City, there are parades with children and giant papier mache puppets. The Noche de Rabano or Night of the Radishes is a Oaxaca City tradition. Artisans show off designs created from large radishes, often decorated with other plant materials. The event only lasts a few hours but draws most of the city's population to the main square to look at the creations. It occurs each year on December 23rd. The event developed from a Dominican Christmas tradition, when they would have a large dinner on the night of December 23rd. To decorate the tables, indigenous servants of the monks would carve radishes and adorn them with flowers and other plants. This led December 23rd to the known as the Night of the Radishes. This led to a special market on this day selling the radishes along with two other popular Christmas plant materials, the floor in mortal and corn husks. This market has grown into a major cultural event and now is sponsored by the city, 
which packs the main square on that day. The day also includes a competition where radish creations are judged by originality, technical skill, and beauty. The story of Donaji is that of a princess from pre-Hispanic Mitla. When she was born, a seer predicted that she would die for her country. When she grew up, her people, the Zapotecs, were involved in one of their many wars with the Mistecs. One day, Zapotec warriors brought a prisoner, a Mistec prince named Nicano, to Mitla. Taking pity on him, she took care of his wounds. When he healed, he asked her to let him go, which she did. The war continued with the Zapotec king and Donaji forced to abandon their capital of Zachila. Peace negotiations were attempted but the Mistecs did not trust the Zapotec king, taking Donaji captive as insurance. This occurred during the conquest, when the evangelization of the country had begun. Donaji asked for baptism and was renamed Donawana de Cortes. As feared, the Zapotecs broke the peace treaty, attacking Monte Alban as the Mistecs slept. Donaji was found in the Atoyac River, decapitated. Time passed. One day a shepherd came to the place that Donaji was buried by the river. There was a fragrant lily flower growing. Fifteen days later, he returned to find the same flower, still fresh and fragrant in the same place as if a mysterious force was preserving it. Her severed head serves as part of the coat of arms of the city of Oaxaca and her story is reenacted every year at the Gelaguetza festival. Every year in the fall, Oaxaca hosts the Oaxaca Film Fest. The city of Oaxaca has long been considered Mexico's culinary capital. The most notable aspect of Oaxacan cuisine is its variety of moles, a type of complex sauce. Their origins go back to the melding of Spanish and Arabic food in Spain. After the conquest, New World ingredients such as chili mulatto, miltomate, tomatoes, peanuts, avocado leaves, and chocolate were incorporated. While moles can be found in many parts of Mexico, Oaxaca has the greatest variety including Negro, Colorado, Coloradito, Chiquilo, Verde, Amarillo, and Mancha Mantels. They are sold in markets all over the city as a paste which is combined with water and simmered with a variety of meats. Other notable foods sold in markets include bars of chocolate, traditional breads, and chapulins. Street foods include playhudas which are large, slightly crispy corn tortillas piled high with ingredients such as grilled beef, cheese, tomatoes, avocados, onions etc. Local drinks include those made with water, sugar, and a flavoring such as aguamil, trocitos de melon, horchata, tuna batida, and nuez as well as local fruits such as quilacciota and guanabana. In nearby Tlacalula and Ajetla an indigenous drink called Tejate is still prepared and sold in the local market. Known here as the drink of the gods, it is prepared with corn, cacao, cacao flour, and the seed of the mammy fruit. As for alcoholic beverages, this area prefers mezcal, which, like tequila is made from a species of agave but the flavor is very different. As in other areas in Mexico, chocolate has had special importance here since long before the conquest. Aside from being a foodstuff, it was also used as medicine and cacao seeds were used as money. The chocolate prepared in this city is well known within Mexico, as it is distinguished by being flavored with cinnamon, almonds, and sugar and is usually prepared with hot water or milk. It is usually served in large coffee cups with a local sweet roll. The best known producer of this type of chocolate is Chocolate El Mayor Domo, 
which recently has opened outlets in various parts of Mexico, especially in Mexico City. In their main store in Oaxaca City, you can see them prepare the various types of chocolates they prepare including a chocolate pasta. In terms of institutions of higher education Oaxaca has several universities. Oaxaca is the site of the Universidad Autónoma Benito Juárez de Oaxaca, which has buildings in various parts of the city. The most visible building is the Edificio Central de la Universidad, which is located in the historic downtown. It is in a building that originally housed the Sciences Institute. It was constructed between 1899 and 1901, in the European Romantic style that was popular for academic institutions at that time. However, indigenous touches, such as the cresting over the portal, can be seen as well. This building houses the Department of Law and Social Studies as well as the gymnasium. Additionally, the Universidad de Mesoamerica has locations in the city. The Universidad Anahuac Oaxaca was opened in 2000. Oaxaca Coxacotlan Airport is approximately 7 kilometers south of the city center. Most flights are to Mexico City for onward connection, but there are also flights to Huatulco, Cancun, Tuxtla Gutierrez and Tijuana. United Airlines has flights between Oaxaca and Houston. The city has separate first-class and second-class bus stations, offering services to most places within the state of Oaxaca, including the coastal resorts of Huatulco, Puerto Escondido, Puerto Angel and Pinotipa Nacional, and also long-distance services to Puebla and Mexico City and other Mexican locations such as Veracruz. There are several bus lines which run in Oaxaca. The largest is Tisug, a type of cooperative company. All of the drivers own their own buses and are aided by other drivers in purchasing new buses. The major highways serving Oaxaca are Federal Highways 175 and 131, southwards to the Oaxacan Coastal Resorts, National Highways 190 and 125, southwest to Pino Tipanacio Nal, National Highways 190 and 130, to Mexico City, the Autopista 150D-131D offering a more rapid route to Mexico City, and National Highway 175 north to Veracruz, Veracruz. A number of small towns surround the main city and are closely linked economically and culturally with the main city. Some of these towns are known for producing certain crafts that are identified with the three central valleys of Oaxaca. In these towns one can see the workshops and the crafts being produced in the traditional manner although most of these towns' products are sold in the main city. Santa Maria Atzampa produces glazed, glass-inlaid pottery of green, while San Antonio Arizola and San Martin Tilcajit make alebrijes, small painted wooden figures. San Bartolo Cayatepec is known for its Barro Negro pottery, and Tia Titlan del Valle works with wool to make tapestry and rugs. These rugs are known for their colors and geometric designs, made traditionally with natural dyes, a wild marigold, perican, that grows in the nearby mountains gives a gold-yellow, cochineal, a native insect, gives reds, and indigo raised in the hotter regions of the state gives gives blues. In addition, Oaxaca City and surrounding towns have market days, where one can visit the Tiengui's set up for that day. There are markets on each day of the week. Monday in Mayawatlan is for buying daily staples, and Tuesday, in Iaquisco is noted for wood furniture. On Wednesday, People head to Etla and Zamatlan for dairy products, especially cheese.
Thursday is reserved for the two largest Tiengui's in Ajutla and Villa de Zachila. On Friday, in Kayatepec, Juliet Sa, and Ocotlan cotton textiles, embroidered blouses, corn husk flowers and glazed pottery from Atsampa are sold. Also Lano Park in Oaxaca has a small market. Saturday is reserved for the main city of Oaxaca, and to finish, on Sunday mezcal is sold in Tlacalula. As municipal seat, Oaxaca City has governmental jurisdiction over the following communities, Arbolada Illusion, Camino a San Luis Beltran, Camino Ancho, Casas del Sol, Colonia Buena Vista, El Baggio, El Silencio, Entrada de El Silencio, Gloria Antonio Cruz, Guadalupe Victoria, Guadalupe Victoria Segunda Sección, La Chagulera, Las Salinas, Loma Bonita, Lomas Panoramicas, Los Angeles, Los Angeles Uno, Miraval, Parage Cabaltillo, Parage El Cerrito, Parage El Pando, Parage La Canoa, Parage La Loma, Parage La Mina, Parage La Rabonera, Parage Piov, Parage Tierra Colorada, Pueblo Nuevo Part Alta, Rancho El Killer, Rancho Los Girisoles, San Bernardo, Solidaridad, and Vigora. The municipality has a total area of 85.48 square kilometers and a population of 265,006. 97% of which lives in the city of Oaxaca while much of the indigenous population was either massacred or died from European diseases during the colonial era, 16 different ethnic groups continue to inhabit the municipality. Spanish is the most commonly used tongue but during the 2005 census, there were 20,109 people who spoke an indigenous language between 7 and 8 percent of the population. The municipality is bordered by San Pablo Etla, San Antonio de la Cal, Santa Cruz Coxacotlan, San Andres Huayapam, San Agustin Yaterani, Santa Lucia del Camino, Santa Maria Atzampa and San Jacinto Amalpas. It is located in the valley of Oaxaca in the Sierra Madre del Sur Mountains, at 17 degrees 05 and 96 degrees 45 minutes west 17.083 degrees north 96.750 degrees west 17.083, 96.750 coordinates. 17 degrees 05 and 96 degrees 45 minutes west slash 17.083 degrees north 96.750 degrees west slash 17.083, 96.750 near the geographic center of the state, and at an altitude of about 1,550 m. The area is known as the Three Vallis Centrales region and is surrounded by thick forests of pine and holm oak. <laughs>